Thank God. So I did not get enough sleep. I had to get up at seven and that <laughs> was not enough sleep. But for me, at least that's part for the course for Gen Con. Today's Friday. So my usual recipe of don't get enough sleep on Thursday night, build a busy schedule and the show ends in like three days. It means today will be the day that I cry. <laughs> we all know, we all know the formula and I am set up perfectly to get smacked in the face with nostalgia and happiness and joy and sadness that it all ends in a few days. Well, we are meeting Suwada this morning and getting breakfast with Andrew and Suwada at Parachel. Andrew's not been to Parachel before. Well, actually, we could also be going to uh, Lincoln Square Frankie Cows. We actually haven't decided, but it's the first round either way, so we're gonna have fun. you set it up and it's basically a cool cyberpunk style runner thing i mean if you like games like what is it oh, uh shadow run but like not with as much math <laughs> good time Get. It's just been chaos, <laughs> but I uh, I don't think I've done row 1,900, and I'm at 1,300 though. <laughs> I need okay. When I come back in, I need to do row 900 and 1,000 and 1,100, and then I need to do 14 through 1,900. Just as a reminder to myself, I'm now heading to my next event. It's like a co-op game about interpreting an alien language and tickets sold really well, so I'm excited for that. And I just picked up some flower crowns that look really cute, so I'm excited to wear those. I'll show you more when I get a chance to. The game I'm going to now is called A Message from the Stars. A Message from the Stars by All Play. So we'll see, I'm excited to try it out. Uh, it's really fun. Look at my shirt. Flower crown. It's not cute. Um, so we just played a message from the stars. It's by All Play Games. That demo was fun. And the game is about aliens communicating with scientists. Uh, but they have two different languages. So you have to basically decipher a cipher uh, and give each other clues over the course of three rounds or four rounds, depending on how the game is set up to uh, be able to speak each other's languages 
and it really does remind me a little bit of like the Arrival movies. It was super cute and I ended up buying it and yeah it's just like a fun logic puzzle. It was really great. The thing that I am learning about myself in demos that I'm just going to try to like really keep in mind though is that if a demo is poorly run and they kind of expect you to just figure it out based on like the tutorial they're giving you if I don't get it or if I feel like I'm being left behind in the demo I internalize that and I feel like I'm stupid rather than the demo is bad and as soon as I get triggered by like hey Nelly you're dumb I, I kind of shut down and I get a little angry in terms of like <laughs> I just kind of shut down and I'm like whatever they're giving a crappy demo I guess I don't get it I'm just an idiot why what am i even doing is this even worth it this game probably sucks and it really helped having a buddy there that was able to like slow it down a little bit and help me through that and you know my adhd makes reading comprehension a little complicated sometimes too and in a pressure situation where you're around a table also with a bunch of strangers and you don't want to hold up the game all of those different factors really impact me and my mental health so nothing against all play <laughs> they're great their demo just they were the the guy teaching was a little overwhelmed by having to do two demos of a complicated game at the same time and he wasn't particularly well prepared maybe to teach this game to two tables at once and i just felt like i was getting left behind and thankfully andrew was there to help coach me through thank you help coach me through and like Help me get up to speed with where I was getting stuck so really appreciated that and it's good for me to learn that about myself so that I can ask for help and support from the demo staff when I need it and when I need more time and when they're going too fast so anyway that's a lot about that it is quarter past one and my next event is in the ICC ballroom 500 in 45 minutes it's the I don't know it's like the RPG game with himbos and Danny is going to be in there and he is so cute and I still haven't done the entire exhibitor hall so I'm going to snake my way up and down and see if I can hit those last few booths that I haven't seen yet so wish me luck
professional actor and vocalist out of the Midwest, her tabletop designer, gamer, host, moderator, jack of all trades, master of like three of them. <laughs> and today, oh, my pronouns are he and they, uh, because himbos have no gender. And um, my character is a problem. <laughs> With that being said, who's next? Okay, bye. Okay. Oh my God. Hi, everybody. I'm Jesse Jurdak. That's it. <laughs> and I have her back. <laughs> there you go. My name's Johnny Stanton. Johnny Stanton the fourth. Uh, I think at this point, former football player, probably. <laughs> um, <laughs> and yeah, and I'm just, I'm just real happy to be here. True, you know, Hembo tried and true, really. Yeah. <laughs> oh, hey, I'm Sunday Parikh. Uh, Shapes and sizes, okay? Yeah. The hippo is a state of mind. Yeah, exactly. I hope, I hope some of you feel more represented by me and my stature. Uh, uh, it's the size of the, the, the himbo in the fight. It's the size of the fight in the himbo. That's, you got to be right. Oh, that's, that's beautiful. beautiful. I'm going to have a tattoo that across <laughs> something. Uh, oh, hi. I am Kyle Shire. <laughs> Um, and so he's practicing, you know, while the, the, the auto gnomes are playing, pumping stuff on the speakers, he's practicing his psychological side, which if you're not aware, it, uh, it's when you take a deep breath in, then you take a smaller breath out, and then you breathe out through your mouth, uh, and it really just calms the nervous system. So for auto gnomes, it sounds like this. Five dollars an hour for these classes. <laughs> I'm kind of rate those rates, dude. Uh, yeah, it sounds like those classes are really useful, then. Yeah, yeah no, no, but dollars. for you guys, of course, you know, I'll do it gratis. But yes, let's all okay, let's all take some deep breaths together. We're gonna do file breath together, okay? File <laughs> breath together. Kind of pumped up for the day. You guys ready? No. No, let's go. No. Would you see for us? Okay, well, whoever is consenting, here we go. Ready? Please for yourself, and you know, just like kind of go after it, buddy. I think you got this. I appreciate that. I really do. I think that I just know my my worth of what I've chosen to be really good at, and I think that I'm just gonna gonna focus in on that. But with your with your um, support, I think maybe I could I could possibly do it. I believe in you, brother. Will they let me do it on a boogie board? See. Uh, <laughs> I'm just like looking at him, I just kind of cock my head, I'm definitely like scoping him out, seeing the, the, the physique and everything that's right about it, and I'm like, mm, I love that, too bad I also don't, and my eyes suddenly just go black, as I can say, suffer. I'm <laughs> oh, oh, oh. <laughs> mechanic to the well, crazy cat. They suffer. I would like the GM to tell me what that would do. Suffer. <laughs> so, okay. Over there. Let's make it a three-way. Yeah. 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 I'm better at the other 
you. Uh, I don't want to persuade you. All right, let's find out with my gay dice. Woo! Woo! Uh, what is that? Who are you? Oh, that's not bad. Okay, that is 18. 18. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I walk up to his ear canal <laughs> from the inside and I say, I eat green berets for breakfast. <laughs> And right now, sweetheart, I'm really hungry. <laughs> and I just berserk through the innards of this whale and being like, wow, I didn't even know you had that part of you. And just as I shatter through various vestibules. And that's about all we have for today. Thank you so much. <laughs>
a game yet, so yeah. you you know. And the game wasn't bad. I actually think it has really good potential. Yeah, it just it's, it's wasn't what we potential. expected. Hmm? Yeah, it just wasn't what I expected it to be, I guess. Yeah. But it's interesting. He's got an interesting idea. Yeah. All right. I hungry. Yes, I was I, I was like I was like legitimately surprised because you had walked out seemingly of your own volition and you seemed to be like in a good mood. Oh yeah, that's what it was. I asked you, are you actually in a good mood or is this some sort of manic cover for something terrible <laughs> beneath? Would you have described me as run down, worn, exhausted? No, I'd call you rugged. Yeah, see? Yeah. Take that, Marion. When do you want me to start recording? <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> <laughs>
very cool and drove Desmond and me around on the little Gen Con cart. Alrighty y'all, it is 2 a.m. I'm back at the hotel. Uh, I've been back for quite a while. I was trying to figure out editing this video and uh, there was like, my editing software was not, there was a glitch situation, like some bug that I just fixed. Um, it was, I couldn't basically import all of the footage in a batch, I had to individually upload every single clip to the project. Anyway, long story short, I finally solved it, but it's now two in the morning. I've not started editing yet and I'm going to bed because last night I only got four hours of sleep and I was weepy and cry today and very grumpy and I think I'm going to need more sleep than four hours. So I can't edit tonight. I'm going to edit hopefully tomorrow morning or during the day tomorrow and my videos might just get delayed by a day or half a day. Murr came over for a bit to come chat and it was a wonderful time. He's having a great con. He played a bunch of Blood Bowl that he's been enjoying. My favorite game I played was A Message from the Stars. That's a game by All Play that I highly recommend. Um, my favorite event was the Himbos extravaganza event, I think, or the Himbos event. That was amazing by far the best event so far. It's been so good. Okay, this is tomorrow editing Nelly, putting a little end cap on this video for tonight. And yet again, I meet you here at the end of the night at two in the morning, the glorious upload time for me. I don't know how I manage to, to time it to 2 a.m. every time, but here I am and it was a wonderful day. I had a great day. I got to meet so many of you and give you hugs and exchange bracelets. And it was just so fun. And I don't know, I had a great time. I hope you all did too. And uh, Gen Con never ends in our hearts. And uh, I hope you enjoy this video. I'm sorry it's a day late. And you know, they'll all be a day late because I'm a day behind at this point, but I'm sure y'all understand. And uh, Look, I hope you all are having the best time. If you are Gen Con right now or this year, I'd love to know what your favorite moment was, what are the top games, what was your favorite purchase. If you didn't make it to Gen Con, did you check my videos? Were they helpful? Did you, did they help with FOMO? Um, I really hope they do because, you know, some people just can't make it, stuff happens and maybe you just can't afford it or you don't want to, but I hope these videos, no matter what your situation is, are helpful and enjoyable and make you feel a little better today. Love you all. Good night. Good night, Derek. Good night. Bye. Don't forget to like, comment, sub, please. <laughs> please, please subscribe. I love you all. Good night. Bye. See you tomorrow.